Research also shows that, contrary to popular belief, machines are at least as effective as free weights in stimulating hypertrophy, and some evidence suggests that they may be superior in some cases. This is where I may lose some of you, so I want to reiterate that this advice is directed at pure hypertrophy training, not strength training or hybrid training. And secondly, some of these exercises don't have the best stimulus to fatigue ratio. This is a term coined by Dr. Mike Isratel, and it essentially means exactly what it sounds like. The stimulus part mainly refers to how much tension the exercise delivers to the target muscle, and the fatigue part refers to how fatiguing the exercise is or how hard it is to recover from. So for example, the deadlift offers a high stimulus because it places a lot of tension on the glutes and the spinal erectors, which is great, but it also carries a very high fatigue demand. It's really hard to recover from, which isn't as great from a bodybuilding perspective. So for pure hypertrophy, we wanna at least err toward exercises that have a high stimulus to fatigue ratio. Now, this doesn't mean that any exercise that causes fatigue is bad. Fatigue is an inevitable and necessary part of training. But generally speaking, if we can pick an exercise that offers just as high or higher of a stimulus for less fatigue, that's going to be a good pick. And machine and cable-based exercises are some of the best options for this. They provide massive tension for less fatigue than free weights and also tend to be safer to take to failure. Research also shows that, contrary to popular belief, machines are at least as effective as free weights in stimulating hypertrophy, and some evidence suggests that they may be superior in some cases. This shouldn't be super surprising, because machines and cables tend to have fantastic resistance profiles, where you get this smooth, even tension throughout the range of motion. 